is the 28th of September, 2016. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. We're going to uh, run some tests in the screw press. It'll look like this, a motor and gearbox, an inlet hopper, an air regulator in there, and a screen, and a discharge door actuated by an air cylinder which pushes the door shut. We're in the uh, receiving area and we're going to test down here at the other end. Here's our test setup. We uh, are measuring water to add to this uh, soybean meal. Five parts to one. We're going to run it in this press. We have a VFD on it. Uh, it's hooked up to steam injection, which we will not, or solvent injection, or water injection. Uh, but we're not going to use that feature. Um, so this is what it looks like. Uh, this is a quick plant tour while I'm uh, waiting. This is the uh, screw department. Uh, built screws and um, there's a lot of welding workstations here uh, where screws are being built. Here's where we're staging parts. Almost all of these are all stainless steel as you can see. Uh, here's uh, actually three explosion proof presses. Uh, you can see the heavy covers uh, waiting shipment. There's a couple of 30 inch presses, those are uh, $350,000 machines. And uh, these are partially completed presses. Typical presses. Assembly, there's just one down there right now. We're getting ready to do some testing with a twin screw press. severe material and uh, see if the press jams, uh, see if we can damage the press, it's a test. Now here's where we're making uh, sub-assemblies, screens being manufactured, um, material for screens, screens for a big press, perforated screens, and uh, wet wire screens. couplings for uh, a very large press. This is the test area. You can see a number of uh, screw presses. Uh, here's a boiler, electric boiler we use for steam injection. Oh, that's a VFD. Here's the boiler. Uh, here's a material that came or shipped to us from Russia. We're now stirring this material. Okay, we're uh, starting our test, uh, just draining out water. It looks like it's working real well. Uh, we are getting quite a bit go through the screen. Looks like we need a narrower slot screen. Cake is coming out real well. This cake is extremely dry. If I do this and squeeze it in my hand, I can't even get a film of water between my fingers. My hand palms a little bit wet. This press narrows down at the inlet, it tapers down from wide at the top here, down pretty narrow at the bottom, so uh, uh, we have to keep poking. Go ahead, get some more in there. Okay, we've started a time test. We're collecting the press liquor and the press cake. Okay, we ran 11 minutes, and uh, that's the wastewater. Here's our two pails of crushed liquor for 11 minutes. In case I didn't get it, that's what it looks like in the inlet hopper. That's our crushed liquor. Here's the samples from the test. Uh, we called it the 925 test. We have some as received out of the bag. We have some of the uh, material wet because we after we added water to it. 
and we had samples of press cake. Uh, we were running at uh, 2 bar and 20 RPM, samples of press liquor. There's some settling here in the bottom. And the results were in 11 minutes, we got 37 pounds of press cake and 77.8 pounds of press liquor. We're getting ready for the second test. I'm going to uh, open the discharge cone and uh, you can see what happens when you open the cone. Uh, got this material. We got a, we're ready to run a second test here. Okay, we're getting started on the second test. We are now feeding the press cake from the first press. I'm going to run in the cone. Finding is uh, we're feeding, and it's coming out as press cake. But we're not getting anything through the screen. Um, we'll run a time test on this. I'm going to flush this off so you can see how fast it comes through the screen. Okay, we're uh, still feeding, and uh, we're not getting any water at all out. The second test will just be for uh, how many pounds per hour cake we get. We still have two bags of material left, which we will save in case there's some further testing. Uh, we're getting an occasional drip of press liquor. That's certainly not enough to justify a second pressing. Uh, we need a finer screen, but even with a finer screen, we would push this material through the screen. The cake continues to come out very uniformly all the way around the cone, and this is a time test for one minute, 15 seconds into the test. Uh, oh, this is what it, it looked like uh, after the first test. I wanted to mention this VFD. We run it off an extension cord, single phase, 110 volt in, comes out at, into a three phase motor, 220 volts, and we can vary the speed up and down. We've got it going fast right now to clean it out.